welcome back to I Sew with Joy. Let's face it, it's getting warmer out and that means the kids are almost out of school. Today I'm going to show you how to make a little purse that will hold their library cards if that's one of the activities you have planned for them and or entertain them for a bit because this is one of those things that they can actually do on their own and don't necessarily need you hovering over them. It's simple. Started. You'll get this pattern off of my website at isowithjoy.com. You need some felt. I've already traced out my felt here. Don't worry about the top pieces. I used them for uh, turkeys last year. You need a pair of scissors and you'll need a plastic needle if it's for a child. Um, and I'll have a kit ready. You'll need some plastic needle and thread, specifically embroidery floss. So let's go ahead and get this started. First, you're going to get your thread. Um, this I had already split from a total of six into three. And then you're going to loop your, um, thread your needle. And then you're gonna cut this um, off or cut it out. Basically trace it on your felt and cut it out. Now for your needle, you want it two equal parts. So when you knot it, you're knotting the entire thing, which would make it six individual thread pieces. There I'm just marking where you're going to cut for your buttonhole if you do decide to add a button or snap. Now there will be a line there that shows you where you fold. And this is just a simple, it's almost like creating an envelope. So there I threaded my needle. I'm going to go ahead and start this. First thing you want to do, coming in from the bottom. If you want, you can start from the top as well. There's not a problem. But when you go in from the bottom with your thread and you come over on the other side, um, you want to make sure you split the thread into two. So now remember you have six pieces, so you're going to do it over three. Like you split it into two, so in, three on each side, and then just run your thread through it. That's going to create the pattern you see on the back. And if you have questions about how to do that, I can do a slower video. Um, hopefully that made sense. Here I'm just attaching the button because I did want to make add a button, a flower button to it. And these are just fun pockets to make. Um, you know, if you go into the library, a good way to store your library card, a few cash um, items or cards, and you can gift them as well. So how fun is that? This is the end result.